Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Travis from Chasing Anthems coming at you guys with another reaction video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you followed this channel for any time, you've probably uh, realized that, you know, I've been on this musical journey trying to find artists that inspire, that motivate me to continue to go in different directions. And uh, it seems like lately I've really been hung up on jazz guitarists. Now, I haven't reacted to anybody on this channel, um, but a lot of the new wave uh, metal or progressive metal or whatever you want to call it, guitarists really um, derive their skill set and their style from jazz musicians. It's, it's something that, I, as a bass player, I could wrap my head around it, but as a guitar player, they play some funky chords that I have no idea half the time what they're doing. It's just so foreign to um, most of the other genres uh, of music, and so it's really intrigued me. It's inspired me to dig deeper and to to take on you know learning new skill sets learning all these different chords and different progressions that i uh maybe traditionally wanted whether i'm playing country blues rock etc fill in the blank but jazz really intrigues me and there's so many great artists out there that are are really digging deep and bringing that forward that you know i just want to expand on my own skill set and it really intrigues me as well as it's really soothing and, and fun to listen to as well so I just did a little research and I just I looked up, you know, what were some of the great jazz guitarists um, that performed and would be worth, you know, checking out. So I, ch I found this particular individual, Django Reinhardt, Hard I'm not quite sure if I pronounced that uh, correctly, but uh, this particular video is from 1945, which is always cool to dig back in the archives and check out folks doing their thing back in the day. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to check uh, this individual out and to go down this wormhole. So if you're new to the channel, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this page or this video. And uh, please consider subscribing. Help us out. We're an original band trying to do our thing, get our music out there. And so we greatly appreciate all subscribers uh, people who like, comment, share, do all that kind of good stuff. We greatly appreciate it. But with that being said, we're going to get into today's video. Let's roll. That was special. It's very relaxing. It's very soothing. It brings you back to a different time. Obviously, it was a different time, but those, some of those runs and those licks are just really phenomenal. Super clean, interesting, intriguing, you know, fill in the blanks. Um, I'm going to ask a dumb question here, but that's okay because that's what we're here to do is learn. What? This has to be a different style. Guitar, right? Acoustic guitar. What is this here? I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. I'm not familiar with the, the sound hole being that big. Maybe it was just a particular brand and style. I'm not 100 sure, but I'm curious if this is a variation of acoustic. But look at those extended frets on there. That's pretty sweet, right? 
Um, the other thing I like about this is it's really p- jazz in particular, uh, as well as other genres. It really forces you to think about not needing all of those additional uh, sounds and effects that we love adding on there and layering. And it's definitely fun. I love it. Right. I love playing with my Helix um, stage pedal where, you know, and I can get in there, I can program different amp models and pedals and speaker combinations, do all sorts of different kind of stuff to make it flavorful and fun. Right. Um, but it really does mask a lot of times just the simplicity and, uh, the beauty and a lot of these, uh, you know, scale progressions and the different creativity that you can do with just nothing, right? With just in a nylon string acoustic classical guitar. It's just so beautiful. And honestly, this is where I hope one day I, my skills can get to the point to where I can not need any of the other thrills and I can just um, just play very melodic, um, flavorful tunes, um, whether it be around a campfire or just by myself at home, just entertaining myself. Anyways, really inspiring, really exciting. Please let me know what you guys think. What is some other great jazz guitarists out there that I should check out, as well as uh, Django. Once again, sorry if I uh, mispronounced his name, but um, whether there's other ones of him I should definitely check out or other artists, I would greatly appreciate it. I am on the musical journey, and I appreciate you joining me along the ride. Let's go. Let's grow. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and checking out this video. Please consider subscribing, like, comment, share, do all that kind of good stuff, and links, descriptions below to check out our, our original music. We greatly appreciate it. We love you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.